This AI avatar automates your social media content. And in this walkthrough, I'll show you exactly how to generate the AI agent that can get the latest news. We'll be able to generate the script for a LinkedIn post, for example. And we're going to be using HeyGen and Eleven Labs to be able to generate our AI avatar to post across all of these different social media platforms like TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram, and much, much more. Let's jump into a quick demo to see exactly how it works. So we're going to come down the bottom. We'll do test workflow. We could either manually trigger this or we could get it to run every single day at a specific time in the day, for example. We're using Hacker News here. So we're going through and finding the latest and greatest news to do, for example, in the AI and automation niche. We're now going through, we found the top story, or if we wanted to do multiple stories, we can do that as well. We're writing the post here. So we've got all of the detail. Now we're going to go through, we're going to generate the video with Hagen and Eleven Labs. We're then going to wait for this to come back. We can either do this as a loop or you can have it in here and just wait maybe 10 minutes for that to be going off and generating. Once it's done that, we'll be able to go through, download the video, and we'll be able to store it in our Google Drive so that we can go through and use it on different ones or create multiple videos from it. We'll just wait for this to download and I'll show you exactly what the output looks like. So now we've been able to download the video. We can want to see a breakthrough. Here, so we'll be able to use this in a second. So there we go, it's been all uploaded. And if we open this up, want to see a breakthrough in AI efficiency. We'll see that we've got it there. It's a little bit pixelated. So if we come back across, we'll be able to see it. In want to see a breakthrough output. in AI efficiency. Meet AutoThink, the game-changing technique that lets local LLMs think smarter, not harder. By dynamically classifying. There we go. So it looks absolutely fantastic. I think that link sync looks really good. And we're doing this on the lowest HeyGen account just to show you how it works and get set up. If you want to get access to all of the resources we run through today, make sure to come across to the community, into the classroom, or come down to the AI video generation, and we'll see that we've got all of the information in here ready to go. You'll come down to the bottom, click on the blueprint, we'll be able to download it, come into a new workflow in NA10, three dots, import from file, we'll then choose the file and load it up, and it'll be ready for you to go all straight away. We'll be able to get rid of this though, and we're going to start building it from scratch together today. In this case, I'm going to do a manual trigger because we're just going to use this to show you how it works. We're then going to go straight into our AI agent. This is where we're going to be able to change that we've got defined below because we've not got a chat message or anything being passed through. And we're not going to need our AI agent system message in this case. So we're going to come back across to our community. We're going to come up to where we've got our first AI agent prompt in here. We're going to copy all of this copy and then paste into where we've got our agent prompt in here. And what this is basically doing is explaining the tasks that we've got for the AI agent, which is that we're going to be analyzing hacker news for lots of different news stories. We can get one or two stories to come back. In this case, I'll do one just to show you how we can go through and iterate. We're going to go and analyze the story and produce lots of key information out the back so that we can generate the result we want. We're going to come out of here. We'll get rid of our chat received. We'll then add in our chat model. We're going to be using OpenAI. If you've not done this before, make sure to come through to create a new credential. You then want to go across to playground of OpenAI. I'll include the link below and your API key in here, and you'll be all good to go. We're going to change this to be our VR O3 model, perhaps because we wanted to have that deeper reasoning ability to get the output that looks really good on LinkedIn or other platforms like that. We'll be able to add that in there. We'll just rename it to our AI brain. We're not going to add any memory because it's not got that chat history in the background. This is going to be more on a scheduled workflow. We are going to add some tools though. So in this case, we're going to do Hacker News. This is a free to use platform. What you can see here is it's got lots and lots of different stories. So if we just refresh this, we can see that we've got this one here, which is the story that we're going to be analyzing. It's got all of the different points in here, for example, or we can do some of the news. We can see all of the different questions and points in here that's been raised, analyzed. What we can also see is that we've got comments with it as well. And we'll be able to analyze that to see what some of the sentiment is. We're going to be able to change this to all. And then we're going to do get many and you can return all if we wanted to. And then what we're going to do is come down here. We can add some keywords and some tags. 
this is just going to enable us to specify a bit more around the information we want to come back. So we could do story, we could do from a page, and then we can leave the rest. We can do the keyword as AI, or if you want it to be a bit more specific, we could do artificial intelligence. This will come back with some of the points. Again, you could put AI in brackets if you really wanted to. Now we're only going to get stories that come back to do with the AI and automation if we wanted to. We'll come back, we'll do hacker news tool. We're going to say that we're going to get that specific article. So again, it's going to be iterating through all of the different news stories that are there, but we want to get a one specific article with a specific ID so that we can get all of the details associated with it. We're going to need to add our description in there. So we'll come down. We're basically guiding the AI on what it's looking for. At the bottom, we can include the comments. So maybe we want to analyze the sentiment around the story, see if people are reacting positively, negatively, whatever it may be. We'll come through, we'll just change this to be get to get article. We'll do save. Before we do test step though, we'll just come back into here. We're going to get rid of all of this. Just say AI for us to be able to get those stories back. We'll do test step. Now what it will do is it will go off. Is going to scrape all of the different stories on hacker news that come through each day if we were to do it on maybe a scheduled timer to get that response back it's now gone through and got all of the details to do with that article as we can see here and we can see if there's any comments associated with it as well to know what the sentiment is around that story we can now see that if we come up to the top we've got the json output structure here which enables us to go through and analyze some of that information or store it for future use if you wanted to get multiple stories. To make it a bit more usable, we're going to come through and do a code module. This is going to enable us to take this output from our AI agent and break it up a bit more. So we'll come back across to the community. We're going to come down to where we've got our code module here. We'll copy and then paste. Now what we'll be able to do is we see that we've got our structured JSON on the left hand side here. But actually on the right hand side we've broken it out so now we can see a lot more information to do with this story so we can see the article summary we can see some of the key points that have come out around this story we can see some of the sentiment around the community and we've got our script that's come out the back to run through HeyGen and 11 labs now we're not going to add the split module like we had in the previous one because we only got one story but you'll get access to that in community now we're going to come through and do our basic LLM because this is where we're going to write the article for our LinkedIn post, for example. What we're going to do is come across to our community. We'll come down to our LinkedIn posting agent. We'll copy all of this. We'll come back across. We're going to paste in here with our expression. And what we've got is all the information on the left-hand side to be able to use. We're going to remove this article summary. The reason it's red is because it was trying to come out of that split module at the start. Now we're going to go through. And as we've only got this one story, we're just going to add across some of the key points instead. So there we go. We've got all of the key points included and we'll just add the community sentiment in there. We'll come out of here. We'll be able to just do test step. And now what we'll do is just actually add our AI brain in here. The reason I'm using the basic LLM is because we've now got the option of all of these different AI models to choose from. So for example, if you really liked being able to use Claude, you could choose Anthropic and use that as the response instead. We're going to come down and use OpenAI. We'll keep it as ChatGPT for a mini, or we could do 4.1 mini if we wanted to instead. This is just going to give us a bit more intelligence around some of the stories that are written. We'll be able to do test step. Now what this will do is go off and write the story for us. So as we can see here, we've now got a really good output that we'd be able to use on LinkedIn straight away. We'll do save, come out of here. Now we're going to get into the part around generating our AI agent avatar. So we're going to come across to where we've got HeyGen. So in this case, the reason I'm using HeyGen is because it's one of the market leading platforms out there compared to ones like Synthesia as well. These are the two main ones in the market. There's so many different use cases for this around training. But what we're doing today is training it on ourselves so that we can then use it on social media. The other reason we're looking at it as well is if I come across to pricing, we'll see that we've got the pricing plan. So you've got the different ones that you can use natively. But the other key part in here as well is we'll see that we've got the higher 1080p exports or 4K exports if you come up to some of the higher models, which again, for today's demo, we're not doing. We're just using some of this free lower version just to show you how it works. But what we can do is come across to pricing. And we'll see that we're going to need our $99 a month here. So that's around 70, 80 pounds 
in GBP. So this is going to enable us to have a hundred credits, which is around a hundred minutes AI avatar video. The reason that this is key is because if we come across to where we've got Synthesia, we'll see that we've got their plans here. And as if we have a look here, we'll change to pay monthly. You're going to need to pay, for example, that $69 a month to get some of the high end features. And you only get access to 30 minutes of video per month. So by using Hagen, we can actually top it up as much as we need. And we're going to get access to more minutes for us to be able to generate some videos. Whereas with Synthesia, you're only going to have 30 minutes of video per month. And you cannot upgrade that. You can't top it up. So you become stuck for the videos you want to generate. So we're going to come across to our Hagen. I've already created an avatar in here. Again, this was on the free plan. We're only using that paid for element around the API costing that goes with it. We'll see that we've got an AI avatar. So to do that, you want to come through hyper-realistic avatar. You'll add it in there. You need about two to five minutes of you just talking with some really great lighting. It walks you through exactly how to do it. In this case, we've already got one ready to go. So we would need to upgrade to do it. What we can see here is that we can copy our avatar ID, which we're going to need a bit later on. We can also come down to where we've got our AI voice and we can see that we've got one from our voice clone that we've done a bit earlier on. But also what's really important is we can add our 11 labs in here as well. So you can do third party integration. We can do import voice. You'll see that you've got 11 labs in here. You need your API key. So to do that, come across to 11 labs. You want to come down to where you've got your workspace. You then go into API keys. You'll then be able to generate a key, copy that, come back across paste in there and then you'll be able to import all of the different voices that you want so for example here we've got my voice that was done on 11 labs to be able to use that in our conversation a bit later on so that's great we don't need to do anything else in here once you've got your ai avatar set up we're going to come back across to our environment we're going to need to do a http request because we're going to be using the api to get the output i'll include the link below around the documentation we're looking for this create ai avatar video and we're going to need to add some features in here we've also got it in the school community ready to go so all you'll need to do is copy this curl request into your http and you'll be good to go as you can see here on the right hand side they've got an example ready to go so we'll be able to copy this across come back in here we'll do import from curl and paste this will give us the base element we're going to need to make a few changes. So the first thing here is our API key. So we'll come and get our API key. We'll come back across to Hagen. We're going to come up to where we've got our account on the settings. We'll do subscriptions and we'll be able to come across, copy our token that we've got here, come back into our NA10 and then paste in there and it will be all ready to go. Now that we've added our API key, I'm going to come back across to our community. We've got the actual curl element. If we come a bit further down, We've got, as we can see here, the input that we want to use. The reason I'm using this one is because we've made a few changes so that we get the correct aspect ratio to be able to generate for the, more that social media on the phone platform instead. So we'll paste in there. Now what we can see is we've got the different references we need to update. So the title, we'll be able to get rid of this because it's trying to use the split out module, which we don't have in this case. We'll be able to add our title in there. We'll do exactly the same for the callback ID, just in case we want to use that. We've got the width and height specified, the aspect ratio of 16 by nine, so that phone orientation. We're gonna to need to add our avatar ID, our voice ID, as well as the input text. The input text we can remove here and put across where we've got our script. We can change the speed of how they talk, the emotion, the locale, all of this to make sure that we get the best output possible. To use our avatar ID, we're going to come back across to Hagen. We're going to come into where we've got our AI avatar. We're going to come into here. We're going to copy our avatar ID. We'll come back across to our AI agent and we'll be able to paste in there. We've also in the resources got the ability to check it dynamically through some HTTP requests in case maybe you've got different variations of the avatar you want to use in different use cases. We'll come back across here. Now we need to go through and update our voice ID. So we'll come back across to Hagen, down to AI voice. I'm going to use the 11 labs one here. We're going to copy the voice ID, come back across, paste in there. Now we've got a fixed avatar ID and fixed voice ID, but you can make that dynamic if you want to. One of the things I love about NA10 on the right hand side, we'll see exactly what that AI avatar is going to be running through and generating. So we've got the script here. 
the speed, emotion, and much, much more as well. We'll come out of here. We'll be able to rename this to generate video. We're going to do test step. So it sends it off and starts to generate it. We're going to get our video ID that comes back. Now for this one, I'm just going to add a weight module in here. This can take around a couple of minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes to generate. So what we'll do is we'll just add in here, maybe a 10 minute wait module, because then what we can do is after this, do a HTTP request module. We'll come back across to our documentation. We're looking for the retrieve video status details because we want to find the current status of how that video is going through. For example, here, what we'll see most often is processing straight away. And what we're looking for ultimately is have that status to be completed. So we're going to come up on the right hand side. We'll copy this curl request, or you can do it in the community. We're going to paste in there. We're going to do import. We're going to need to add our API key in there. So we can come back to that first module, come down to the API key, copy, and then paste in here. And now if we do test step, what it should do is wait for 10 minutes and then give us that response back. So just play around with it. See if you want to use an if statement so it loops around instead automatically, or if you prefer to use it something like this, where it's just going to automatically wait 10 minutes before it gives you the response. We can do that as well. So there we go. We've now gone through and waited the 10 minutes and we've come into here, but of course we've not specified the video ID. So when I come into request parameters, we're going to do video underscore ID. And then we'll put across that video ID that we had from earlier on, and we'll be able to do test step. When you go through and generate the curl, if you come down the bottom, we can do test in here. And then for when you're actually getting the status, it will now update it. So it includes that video ID. Again, in the resources, it's done for you automatically. So you won't have this issue in the future. We'll come back across. If we do test step again, it looks like we've got all of it coming back. So it's now status is completed so that we've got that video ready to go. I'll just pull this across so we keep it all in the green. We're going to come through and do one more HTTP request module. We're going to put across where we've got our video URL. We're then going to come down to our options. We're going to do response. We're going to say that the file is the output that we're looking for. We do test step. And now what it will do is download that specific video. So there we go. Now we can ever seen an AI that knows how to think on its feet. Autothink is so there you go, as you can see, able to get that response back incredibly quickly. I found that it's not 100% with some of the more English voices. It's very good at the American, but some of the other ones it tends to struggle with. We'll rename this to download video. So what I would do is just maybe upgrade to some of the more paid memberships just to test out the inbuilt functionality a bit better, but also to make sure that we get that higher quality audio coming out the back. So now, for example, we could do Gmail. And we could do send a message. Now what we'll be able to do is come through and we could send it to ourselves. So you'll be able to put your email in there. We do video ready and then put across where we've got the schema. We'll come down to where we've got the callback ID. So that's that title of that video. We'll be able to do the email type text. We can say video is ready here. Video is ready. We'll just change this to expression. We'll put across on the left hand side. We can say LinkedIn post. We'll be able to then come back a bit early on where we had this output from the text. We could do that in there and we'd be able to go through options, attachments. We'll be able to add an attachment as well, which is going to be our binary data. So now if I come through and do test step, what it will do is it will send it back to ourselves so that we could add it to multiple different platforms. Or if we wanted to go through and upload it straight away, we could do that as well. So now if I come across to our Gmail, we can see here that we've got that LinkedIn post ready to go straight away. And we've got the video attached here as well. So we'd be able to download that and play if we needed to. Or if you wanted to, we can come back across. We could do add node. We could do YouTube. And then you'd be able to upload, for example, a video, upload a video. We could come through and we could do LinkedIn. And then we could go through and create a post so it would be able to add it automatically. So as you can see, there are lots of different ways of being able to use it. There's also lots of different integrations into Instagram, TikTok, or different platforms that schedule those posts automatically. So make sure to check some of those out and let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video on that. We've got more coming around the AI avatars and how to change some of the backgrounds in the future. That's been a really quick video just to show you how to get your own AI avatar set up that you can use across multiple different social media platforms. Make sure to come across to the community to check out all of the resources. 
Stay tuned for more around automation, AI agents, and have a great day.